exchange diameter for power in parabolic antenna. If I want to reduce the diameter of a satellite dish, how much power should I add to the transmitter? How is this formula? As I have already been informed a little in this other question I asked, https colon slash slash space dot stack exchange dot com slash questions slash four nineteen oh nine slash x dash band dash range dash and dash data I would need a three meter diameter parabolic antenna and twenty W of power roughly. How can I add power, for example two hundred W and reduce the diameter of the parabolic antenna to zero point five meters? We assume a transmitter with 20W on one side and a receiving antenna with 3 meters diameter on the other side. When we increase the power from 20W to 200W, we have 10 times more power. We may reduce the area of the antenna to 1 tenth and its diameter to 1 sqrt 10. Instead of 3 meters we may use now 0.95 meters. We need 2 kilowatts instead of 20W to reduce the diameter by 1, sqrt 100 equals 1 tenth, from 3 meters to only 0.3 meters. The distance between transmitter and receiver is the same for 20W, 200W and 2 kilowatts. The diameter of the transmitting antenna is not changed. But what if both the transmitting and the receiving antenna's diameter is decreased? The beam width of the transmitter would increase and the received signal would be weaker. For small beam widths a reduction of the antenna diameter by a factor of 0.5 would double the beam width. If we use 1.5 meters diameter instead of 3 meters on both sides, we need to increase the power by a factor of 4 the square of 2 for both sides. So need 16 times the power to compensate, 320W instead of 20W, for a reduction by the factor of 0.1, from 3 meters down to 0.3 meters, we need 10,000 times more power, 200 kilowatts instead of 20W. So exchange diameter for power is impossible for satellites.